Moving right along, let's discuss the next tool we have in SPSS, which is the t-test. In marketing, we often have a need to understand the differences between groups. For instance, we have segmentation analysis, where we want to say, are two or more segments really different along some dimension, behavior, or attitude? Similarly, we have to look at experiments. When we test one condition, condition A, say, against condition B, we want to know if those are different. We want to know if the treatment worked. So what we need is a systematic approach that allows us to stay when two or more groups of customers, companies, markets, etc., really are different from one another. We do that with t-tests. So just to give an example of what this might look like without actually looking at data yet, let's imagine we want to know if web shoppers pay a different price for cars than dealership shop. So in this case, we want to know if people who buy cars online pay a different price than people who buy cars in a dealership. So what we want to do is what's known as a hypothesis test. And the hypothesis test, we need to first set up what's known as the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis in this case is that people who buy online pay the exact same price as people who buy in dealerships. And what our t-test is going to allow us to do is test to see if we can reject this null hypothesis and instead accept an alternative hypothesis, which is that they pay different prices. And so if we saw that a p-value for this test was less than 0.05, we would conclude that, in fact, the prices paid by those online are different than the prices paid by those in dealerships. Let's take a look and see what that would look like in SPSS. So again, we're working with the autoonline.save dataset, and to run a t-test, we would go to Analyze, Compare Means. In this case, we're going to do an independent sample t-test. And in this window, we want to have some sort of test variables. So in this case, we're going to look for the price paid, which is the variable actual. And we're going to group based on the variable did buy, which tells us whether somebody bought online or not. Now, you see really quickly that this did buy says question mark, question mark, because it doesn't actually know which groups to compare. And so what we need to do is go to our data and look at our variable did buy, which is right here. And we want to see what our possible values are. Well, our possible values are one and two. And so what we need to do in the independent sample t-test window is define the groups that we want to compare. And specifically, we want to say compare group one to group two. And if we do this, and we click OK, we get the following output. So how do we read this output? There's a number of things. First of all, it tells us what was the approximate actual price you paid for it, that's the car, and the grouping variable is did you buy the car on the auto online website, yes or no. So we find that 280 or so people bought on the website, the rest bought uh, in the dealership, and we find that the average price paid by those online was about 11 and a half thousand and the average price of those who bought at a dealership was 13 and a half thousand dollars now those nominally look different but we really have no way of knowing if they're different until we look at the statistical test down below and now below what we're interested in is this first row where we're going to assume variance is equal we're going to do that for most of the cases in this class and we need to move over here where it tells us the significance level so the significance in this case is 0. 0.000 it is so small that again sps has can't even display it this value is absolutely below 0 0.05, suggesting that we can reject the null hypothesis that the two values are the same, and instead we can conclude that they're different. And specifically, we can conclude that those people who bought online paid about $2,000 less than those people who bought in the dealership. So let's give it a shot. We again go to Analyze, Compare Means, Independent Sample T-Test. In our grouping variable, we still want to use did buy. We need to define the groups. We remember from last time that it was group one versus group two. And this time we want to say, is there a difference in the variable helpful? So I'll type H-E-L, there it is, helpful. And that's it. We run it. And what we find is if we look at this top row, the significance is 0.691, which is very much above 0.05. Therefore, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that these two are the same. That is, those individuals who purchased online versus in the dealership found the website to be equally helpful. So just a quick summary of t-tests. These work for interval and ratio scales. For other types of scales, we need to use cross-tab analysis, which we'll discuss in a later video. And also, this is only relevant for two categories or two groups. You can actually do n or multiple number of groups using either regression analysis or ANOVA, which we'll discuss in subsequent videos as well.